Hey guys, welcome back to Epic Reviews. I'm gonna be doing the review of the movie, uh, the Flash movie. That just came out recently. And um, before I even start the movie, I just want to introduce some of the stars on the, on the, of the show. You can see them here: Batman and Zod. Okay. So uh, first, I'm gonna start off with all the complaints. For one, I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, they turned uh, General Zod into uh, Supergirl's punching bag. Which I hated. I just knew I had a feeling they was gonna do that uh, shit. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that they um did that. I was expecting to be they hired this guy up to be some type of bad villain and turn into Supergirl's punching bag. I was pissed off. So disappointed. That's one of my rants. Another rant I had was um uh, Supergirl. I don't understand how she was able to uh, gain her uh. Not how to use a power so fast that you saw uh, in Superman, the new Super Superman movie. Um, it took a while for Superman to learn how to fly and use it all in master the senses. So I don't understand that part neither. You know, she got some type of cheat code or something. She cheated. But yeah, that's my only two rants. Let me make sure that's of them. Um, I was disappointed that they, um, that, uh, what's this? Who? Ben Affleck's Batman wasn't a part of the the main scene. I was hoping to see him in um the George who was it? George Clooney or the other one. Uh actually partnering up as well, but I didn't see that. So I was disappointed. That would have been so cool to see two Batmans working together. So I was disappointed with that. Um they kinda of hyped up the trailer to make it look good as if um you was gonna see some stuff that you was hoping to see, but they didn't. Uh the things I included. Look, cool. I got three reflexes. Thank you. Stop moving. But as you can see, uh, that didn't happen. So I was disappointed with this movie in some ways. And others, I liked it. Uh, for one, the movie is long. It's about three hours. Okay. Uh, the damn movie was so long. And our theater, uh, actually, it stopped working. Um, they had to, it took about 10 minutes to reboot the system to get the movie planned. It started at the good, it started, I mean, say it stopped at the good part where, um, uh, the Flash was fighting uh, Fiora, one of Zod's uh, henchmen, or lieutenants, or generals, or something like that. Okay. Uh, but overall, I liked the movie. Did some parts I didn't like. This didn't make no sense. But, uh, of course, uh, you had uh, the Batman from, what was it, 1990s Batman? Okay. Uh, you had two Flashes, they were in that movie. Uh, okay. Uh, of course, the Flash was, his alternate Flash was annoying as heck. I was getting annoyed by his personality. I guess you say he still had that, like, that childlike mind. Okay. That's one, uh, so he was annoying, but you kind of got used to him with his, uh, crazy jokes and stuff. But, uh, you had some action. Well, some parts, uh, where they had to go say uh, Supergirl. Okay, that was one. You had, uh. The, uh, the, big, the fight scene towards the end, you had, uh, of course, when the Flash was trying to go back into time and stop his mother from being killed, uh, then, well, being eliminated, okay. I don't, they didn't really get, do a good job at explaining how his mother died. Uh, I was trying to understand that part. I'm guessing they thought the dad had uh, eliminated her. Um, so that's why I assumed, but they didn't really explain. All you just saw was a knife stuck in her chest and blood, and then you had uh, what you call it, the uh, the father come and supposedly tell. I even forgot what's the Flash name in that movie. Well, to tell the Flash to save the call nine one one. Okay, um, you had on um, the Flash taking on, ooh, taking on uh, General Zod and his crew. Okay, um, of course in that movie it's an alternative universe because um, Flash goes back in time to save um, his mother. So now you saw where, of course, you had the Flash taking on um, uh, with, a, with a Zod's henchmen. Um, for some reason, the weapons that Zod and his crew had somehow was able to hurt them. I didn't understand that part. I thought they were Kryptonians. So, and since they absorbed the um, the Earth's sunlight, uh, they would be immune to a lot of stuff, but I guess somehow they got some type of 
kryptonite on their little swords that hurt that can hurt them. So uh, one of the flashes was fighting one of Zod's henchmen and was able to hurt her. So I was a little confused on how they was able to do that. I guess because they didn't absorb a lot of sunlight. Okay. Um, and of course, you had this cool part. I liked it. Um, where the Flash would... Uh, they kept trying their best to uh, fix the timeline by trying to find a way to stop Zod from killing Supergirl and taking her DNA to start the terraforming on Earth like you saw in Superman. Okay. And they kept trying to do this... Um, go back in time and try to stop it. But um, one of the Flashes realized that um, uh, it's not possible. Uh, it's one of those timelines that it gets stuck in the loop because um, like you keep doing it because you can't fix it. Uh, it was impossible. Like what Batman explained to him. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, got, I really like that uh, Batman scene uh, when you saw him taking on those Russian guys. It was just so cool. He was throwing battle rings, doing all his martial arts that he was taught and this uh using his uh cape as a bulletproof uh shield that was so cool as well i really like that part i gotta say uh batman really uh that batman from that alternate universe really carried that show and i really uh that was a good part i mean the movie not the show okay um also the flash of course as well, he had to make the ultimate sacrifice to allow his mother to be eliminated in the movie uh, so that uh, they can fix the timeline. Okay, so um, that's pretty much you have to pretty much watch the rest of the movie for yourself. Like I said, I can't remember everything because it's uh, a long movie. I just remember the key parts that I liked it and disliked it. Okay, so it's a little uh, review of the Flash movie. I still say it's a good movie. Um, just be prepared to have a, a good attention span because it's about three hours long, okay? And uh, enjoy the video.